In the early hours of September 29, 2025, NASA's Deep Space Network picked up something unusual near Mars. The signal came from none other than Comet 31PATLS, the same mysterious object that's been puzzling scientists for years. But this time, it wasn't about strange pulses or chemical anomalies. This time, 31PATLS moved. The object, roughly 10 kilometers wide, had been expected to pass near Mars' orbit, just another quiet celestial event. But instead of following its predicted path, it performed a maneuver no natural body has ever done before. It stopped accelerating, held position for nearly seven minutes, and then changed direction deliberately. NASA astronomers couldn't believe what they were seeing. Comets and asteroids obey the laws of gravity and momentum. They don't pause. Yet 31P ATLS had just performed what appeared to be a controlled deceleration. The data came in waves from multiple satellites, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, and even China's Tianwen-1 mission all recorded the same phenomenon. For nearly 420 seconds, 31P ATLS hovered in a stable position relative to Mars, its rotation slowing to almost zero. Then, just as suddenly, it emitted a burst of high-energy radiation and accelerated again, but this time not away from the Sun, toward it. The maneuver defied every law of orbital mechanics. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory issued a quiet internal report, later leaked to the public. One chilling line from the summary read, This was not a natural course correction. The object demonstrated controlled propulsion. Controlled propulsion. Those two words changed everything. Immediately, telescopes across the world turned towards Mars' orbit. The James Webb Space Telescope captured the event in infrared, and what it saw confirmed the impossible. The energy burst wasn't random. It came from specific locations on the comet's surface, aligned in a geometric pattern. Imagine this, three perfect points forming a triangular layout, each glowing with equal intensity. And when the light faded, those points cooled at the same rate, almost like synchronized engines shutting down. No known natural process could explain it. As the images reached NASA's control centers, experts were stunned to see the aftermath. A faint plasma trail stretched behind the comet, containing highly ionized particles, identical to the emissions seen in spacecraft thrusters. It wasn't just moving, it was steering. But here's where things got even stranger. Spectrographic analysis showed that during the maneuver, 31P ATLS emitted a faint radio signal at 1420 MHz, the hydrogen line, often theorized to be the universal frequency for intelligent communication. For seven minutes, during its pause near Mars, it was broadcasting. The signal repeated a simple sequence, three long pulses, two short, then one long, and then silence. When decoded into binary, it matched the mathematical representation of the number five. Five what? No one knows. But some scientists believe it was counting down, or signaling a fifth stage in its activity. Even more incredible, Mars surface instruments recorded something else, a momentary rise in atmospheric ionization. The skies above the planet flickered faintly with electromagnetic interference, as if 31-slash-Atlas's emissions were affecting the Martian magnetosphere itself. It was almost as though the comet was interacting with the planet, testing it. NASA's official public statement called it an unusual but likely natural energetic event. But behind the scenes, panic grew. Because if this was natural, Physics needed rewriting. If it wasn't, then the implications were far greater. For decades, scientists have speculated that certain long-period comets might be artificial objects, ancient probes disguised as natural bodies.
but 31 slash Atlas was now providing evidence too specific to ignore. And the final image captured by Webb added one more layer to the mystery. At the exact moment of its maneuver, a faint electromagnetic ring appeared around the comet. Not debris, not gas, but a glowing structure, circular and symmetrical. As quickly as it appeared, it vanished. Some believe it was a shield. Others say it was a communication array. But one NASA scientist described it best. It looked like the comet opened its eyes. And now that eye was turning toward the inner solar system, directly toward Earth. After the event near Mars, 31-slash-Atlas was no longer just a comet in NASA's files. It became the most closely observed object in the solar system. Every major space agency, NASA, ESA, Roscosmos, CNSA, and even private space firms like SpaceX redirected resources to monitor it. Its movement became eerily purposeful. Unlike other comets, it wasn't tumbling chaotically. It was moving smoothly, stabilized. Astronomers discovered that after the maneuver, its velocity dropped to a steady 27 kilometers per second, consistent with controlled deceleration, not gravity-driven motion. And then came the transmission. On October 2nd, deep space receivers in Chile, Australia, and Hawaii picked up a complex repeating signal originating from the same region as 31-slash-Atlas. The transmission wasn't random noise. It had structure, amplitude modulation, harmonic spacing, and phase shifts consistent with intelligent encoding. When decoded, it revealed an intricate waveform, something resembling DNA sequencing patterns. Scientists at SETI compared the data to biological sequences and discovered a chilling similarity. The structure mirrored adenine and thymine, two base components of human DNA. Was this a coincidence or a message? NASA's internal communication leak later revealed an entry from Dr. William Armitage, the lead systems analyst at JPL. If this data is genuine, 31 slash Atlas is either reflecting what it's observed from us or it already knew. The questions split the scientific community in half. Some believed 31 slash Atlas was studying us, learning about human biology through our own electromagnetic emissions, radio, television, deep space radar. Others believed it was something ancient, carrying data across the galaxy, searching for familiar signals. But there's another, more unsettling theory. What if 31 slash Atlas wasn't studying us? What if it was remembering us? When Webb zoomed in again, scientists noticed that the comet's light curve now pulsed in a new rhythm, slower, deeper, almost like breathing. Every 11 minutes, it emitted a heat signature followed by a radio pulse, a perfect synchronization between thermal and electromagnetic energy. Biological systems do that, synchronize energy output for efficiency. Machines don't. Suddenly, Comet didn't feel like the right word anymore. A leaked recording from a closed NASA conference revealed one scientist's voice trembling as he said, 31 slash Atlas behaves like a living organism. It's not orbiting, it's migrating. And perhaps most shockingly, after the event near Mars, the object began shedding fragments, but these weren't random debris. Each piece was perfectly spherical and followed 31 slash Atlas in a fixed formation. NASA tracked at least five of them, identical in size, equidistant, moving like satellites around the main body. This wasn't a comet breaking apart. This was a system activating. As public interest exploded, NASA maintained silence while independent astronomers around the world began broadcasting data live. The hashtag Atlas Alive trended globally as new images showed a faint glow on the comet's front side, like bioluminescence in the ocean deep. What caused the glow? A new kind of chemical reaction or energy being generated internally?
Whatever the answer, one fact remained undeniable.